keep always your passport with you because one of the main mistakes I did was the first time I moved they kept my passport with them and this was uh, not nice from from the academy and uh, made me feel a little bit insecure because suddenly I couldn't move I needed to be in, in Abu Dhabi I couldn't travel anywhere and uh, I was in their hands basically and this you need to consider you need to take care of your passport and you should know the rules before you you move of course you can give the passport but not like for two or three months like uh, in my case you should give and you will get them back yeah, that is you should have some trust on on the owners uh, not that I didn't trust because they were always super nice but uh, for me personally I was a little bit uh, afraid because I was super young and uh, I, I would consider this uh, to know well where you are moving to know for who you give your passport and uh, if there is distrust is okay and uh, just to know that this process takes a little bit of time but not two or three months so just uh, think about this before you give your passport to anyone because it can be really not nice from from that person and you will feel insecure like me probably because it's, it's really hard to be in a different country far from home and not having your passport which means you are almost uh, in jail <laughs> because you cannot move anywhere um, and the second mistake I want to I wanna give to you is um, when you move to Dubai you should have a contract and the people or, or the company or in this case uh, if you move as a tennis coach uh, your tennis academy they should provide the contract they should provide everything to you and uh, you should sign the contract and have your visa and they should take care of this um, of this part of the process or at least they should help you to do these uh, things depend on your contract and in my case uh, the second time I moved to Dubai uh, I didn't have my contract immediate, immediately and uh, I didn't have my, my visa and my work um, my, my work documents ready so which means I didn't have my health insurance so my second problem was not having my 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 documents as a tennis coach I was not 100% legal and which goes to my third mistake that was I didn't have my health insurance because usually the, the documents provide and when you have your visa ready provide you a health insurance even even if it's the basics you have some insurance uh, and as I didn't have my my documents ready I was uh, I was not able to have the I didn't have the, the the medical support I didn't have the insurance and in Dubai everything is super expensive so this was the second and my third mistake because uh, as you should know we think uh, problems never come right we are young or even if you're not young we never think about the problems but the thing is they, they come and uh, actually they came exactly I had a lot of pain uh, it was on my teeth but it was not because of the teeth but end up uh, I needed to 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 treat and uh, suddenly I didn't have insurance and uh, I needed to go to emergency and I spent more than 1000 euros uh, just to go to the hospital, uh, to the private I think because I was uh, sick and I didn't even think uh, what I was doing so, the, so they just tried to help me and the bill actually was super expensive I needed to, to cover that but um, I didn't know what I was doing because I was in pain and this is really important and you really should consider because things can happen and in Dubai everything is expensive and um, and health health uh, care there is uh, is really expensive and even if you have the health insurance okay it's good but uh, you should have a, a, a good health insurance because uh, of course you if you go to the public uh, hospitals you can <coughs> you can wait um, a long time for your for your turn it's not pleasant to be there so many hours so i would recommend to go private and to go private or you have a a good insurance that can cover some of the private hospitals or it's going to be really hard and this is really important you consider before you, you move it's really really important because uh, being alone there or being even with your wife or or, or husband or boyfriend um, can be challenged if uh, you are just uh, spending and receiving and spending what, what you get and then this happen and you don't know you don't know or you don't have money to to take care of yourself and uh, it's really hard okay in this case i had of course but uh, I don't know about you and how you manage your money so this is one of my best advices is to to choose a good health insurance even if you have in your contract to see if you can do any kind of upgrade because it can be really helpful i did this mistake and i hope you don't do it um, the third mistake is to 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 understand that okay you came from europe in this case me from portugal and moving from portugal to dubai or to abu dhabi is a big difference about the the salary you receive of course the the amount of money you get is way bigger in the in dubai even if the expenses can be sometimes a little bit more 
uh, bigger, but uh, it's not because of course you spend more money if you go to the best restaurants, if you go to the best uh, hotels, but actually you can spend, as I said in the last video, uh, I did, you can check, uh, you really spend less there because supermarket is the same price and some things, some products are even cheaper. Uh, rent for coaches usually they they provide you with that so you can spend uh, way less but one thing that that i want to advise is you, of course you want to get you will get used to this amount of money you want to get you will get used to more money more money and uh, once you are there after two three four five months uh, what is going to happen is you want even more you are not uh, happy with what you receive because you start to spend more and you will want even more and and more and more because you want to keep spending you get used to that uh, to that kind of life and and everything it's easy there and you start to spend here and there and in the end you will end up with uh, with nothing so you want more and uh, my advice for you is to to think to to pause a little bit and see how much you get how much you get more what are the expenses you have to make note of your of your expenses like i do in one app uh, actually as i said in the last video i stopped this month or last month to do this um but i have the app i can i can do it uh, i can put it here uh, i actually forgot the name but i use the i use that app and i still have it for <laughs> long long time maybe 10 years already or i don't know i use one first and now i'm using another one but for a lot of years uh, really a lot i don't i don't even remember when i started i made note of everything even a single coffee i make i made note there i make note there now i'm not doing uh, but this is really important to stop to think to know where you are spending your money if it's for accommodations if it's for food for fun for and if you are spending it uh, right so with that you can understand okay it's maybe i don't need uh, more money i can I, I okay you always need more money you can always have more money but maybe you need to manage better the money you have and uh, to avoid um to avoid wanting to change again because you are there you are good you are having a great life and then you want more but why what's the real reason and uh, you forgot about the, re the reality that happened to me i forgot what is the reality in portugal uh, i forgot how much we get there and going back is not uh, for sure uh, the right decision you should stay and uh, you should understand dubai is a really good uh, place also to get money if this is your goal if you just want money uh, there are better countries for that but if you are there for money is also a great uh, country you should find the right opportunities and uh, you can always teach more lessons if this is your goal but as you as you know and I, as i said uh, just by teaching you will not be rich um, but you can have a really decent life a really good life and a great life let's say let's be honest as a tennis coach and my fifth advice is for you to have days off because once you move there as I said, you want more money, more lessons, more clients, and uh, suddenly you have a lot of clients every single day, even if it's one or two hours a day uh, on your days off, you have to go to the club, you have to go to the tennis, uh, and uh, my recommendation is to, is to start enjoying the life there, so you can work four or five days, you don't need a lot of days, you can just put a little bit more of lessons um, in one day, for example, as I do here in Vilnius, I have one day where I teach more, but uh, I actually work every single day because here in Lithuania is different, it's cold and uh, we cannot do a lot of things as, as you can do in Dubai. So in Dubai I prefer to have one day with more lessons. As I said, I don't work a lot. The, that day that I'm talking uh, about you is about is uh, for five, sometimes six hours, which for me is a lot. I don't like to teach more than four hours a day uh, and it's what I'm trying to do. But uh, in Dubai, what I recommend is to have one day with more hours and then you can teach the other days depending on what you like. Of course, six to eight hours and having like Friday and Saturday off, you can enjoy, you can visit the countries around, the cities around. Uh, even if it's for two days, it's worth it. You can go to Abu Dhabi or if you are in Abu Dhabi, you can visit Dubai, you can go Oman, you can go any other city around any other emirate emirat emirat i any other emirate sorry i started to speak in portuguese uh, and you can visit um, enjoy the life you can start to going out you can start to to have your normal life to to start to enjoy the fact you are really in dubai because dubai you can have lots of fun you can enjoy your time and you can meet really different people and in my opinion, one of the best things in Dubai is the people you meet, the connections you make and the talks you have with these people because with one talk, with one idea, you can change completely your life. As you should know, one idea is enough for you to become the next millionaire. For example, you just have, need to have that idea. And sometimes these ideas don't come from you, come from conversations you have with your friends, conversations we have uh, with people that you meet. And uh, in this case, if you are having, even if you meet with tennis coaches, uh, you can start developing 
developing a new app for the phones or you can start developing your own projects, your own uh, private lessons, you can share some ideas and uh, start something new. You can work as a tennis coach, as I said, enjoy the life and at the same time you are in Dubai, the right place for, for business and to start your own journey as an entrepreneur. You can start doing something else, you can start using your time to enjoy and to create more, to live even better in Dubai because in Dubai you can have a, you can have a really, really great life. It's the perfect place to be and uh, is where everyone want to be. There is a lot of competition to be there. So I, I hope you you consider these five, uh, five mistakes basically I, I made and I wish you don't do it. And, um, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed and see you in this video right here because I hope you can enjoy. I did it uh, last week and it's exactly the, the reasons why you should, you should move to Dubai and why you should consider Dubai is if you are a tennis coach. It's the video I wish I could watch before I moved and uh, I tried to, to say a little bit of everything, food, cars, uh, the contracts about Dubai, as well as I provide a lot of videos, uh, footage about Dubai. You can see what is the, the life, the streets there and uh, can be interesting for you if uh, this is one of your plans or if you pretend to move to Dubai in the future. Bye bye.